Let's take a look at set operations in c -sharp using Link, which is short for Language Integrated Query. So here we have list A and we have list B. And as you can see in list A, we have Alice and Alice twice. And then we've got Bob and Bob here. But some, such as Eve, doesn't appear in the first list. And so does George. He doesn't appear in the first list. And then David appears in list A, but he doesn't appear in list C. So David is not here. Now we have duplicates in here. So what we want to do is in list A, we want to remove duplicates. So we use the distinct the method here. Then this will remove the duplicates. And then we're going to just loop through the distinct names, which is the variable here, and just output the name. So if I run this code here, so as you can see here, the sync in list A, we've got Alice, Bob, Charlie, and David. So you can see Alice appeared twice here and has now been removed. Let's have a look at the union method now. So what this will do is combine list A and B and remove any duplicates. So we're giving it list A here, and then we've got list B here in the parentheses. And then again, we have our loop and we're just going to print the names. So this will remove in duplicates in both lists. So for example, we've got Bob here and Bob here. This will remove the duplicates. So it will also remove duplicates in the first list. So Alice appeared twice, so she should only appear once. And so does Charlie and Charlie here. So here's the output of the union. So as you can see, we've got list A and B. We've got Alice here, Bob, Charlie, David, Eve, Frank and George. So they have been merged without any duplicates. Now let's take a look at intersect. Get common items between list A and B. So here what we're doing is we've got list A and in the parentheses we are passing it list B using the intersect method. So what this will do is get the common names. So here as you can see the common names are Bob, Bob here, Charlie, Charlie here. Because Alice doesn't appear in the second list she is not common in both lists so she should not appear in the output. So let's have a look at the output. So the common names in list A and B are just Bob and Charlie. Charlie. So you can see all the other names such as David, George, Alice do not appear in this list here. Now let's take a look at accept. So what accept will do is it will take the names in list A that are not in list B. So again, you can swap the order of this. So you could add list D here and list A here. In this instance, what we want to do is names in list A that are not in B. So the accept method is taking list D. I'm going to check to make sure they're not in there. So the names that are not in list B are Alice, save it. So if we have a look at the output here, so you can see names in list E but not in B. So we've got Alice and we've got David. So I hope you found the following set operation to sync union, intersect, and accept. So again, just to repeat, the sync will remove all duplicate elements. Union will combine elements from both lists and remove duplicates. Intersect will only show the common elements between both lists, and accept will only show from the first selection and that are not in the second. Or you could reverse that as shown here. You could reverse this, put list B here and list A there. So I hope you found this explanation of set operations useful.